Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture, we discussed about cucumber hoax. We discussed about different type of hoax, such as before scenario, after scenario, before step and after step. Then we discussed about the uses and we tried understanding the practical uses as well. Today we are going to discuss about tag hoax. First of all, we will try to understand what is the need of tag hoax. Then we will try to understand what are tag hoax and how to use tag hoax, right? So without further delay, let me jump onto the program side. So if you remember in, in our previous example, we used this particular example wherein we converted this line of code with hoax because this, this is common for every scenario because we need to launch the URL for every scenario or for every test case, right? So what we did, we uh, moved the line of code for this before scenario to this hoax part, right? We, we are initializing the Chrome driver and uh, doing the execution, right? Now, what is the need of tag hoax? So for example, I want to execute my test cases against Chrome and I want to execute my test cases against Firefox. So in this case, so for example, I want to execute against Firefox, then also this before block will be executed, right? And we don't need to initialize Chrome driver because we want to execute our test cases in Firefox. Right. So this is where the tag hooks come into the picture. So let us try to understand that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply use Chrome tag here and I'm going to create a copy of it. Then after what I'll do, I'll convert this Chrome with Firefox. And here comes the requirement. So what I will do right now for every scenario, this before block will be executed. But what I want is for, for Chrome, I want this before before scenario to be executed. And for Firefox, I want this before scenario will be executed, wherein I'll be initializing the Firefox driver. Let us try to understand how to do it. So I'm simply going to provide value equal to simply copy this tag at the red Chrome here and provide Chrome. Similarly, I'll copy Firefox and I'll give it some name here value equal to firefox uh, because both of them have the same methods that's why it is showing some error so i'll do chrome setup and here i'll do firefox setup right then after what is the need this is okay because uh, we are initializing chrome driver only and then launching the chrome driver and launching this particular url but in this case we need to change it to Firefox so I'm simply going to change it to Firefox driver and change it to Firefox driver and what I'm going to type in here I'm in Firefox driver so that we will be able to read the console so I'm in Chrome scenario uh, this is what I mentioned likewise what I will do I'll do it for the after scenario as well so that respective after and before will execute for the respective tag so simply what I will do I'll copy this particular value and provide here and do it for the Firefox as well as like like they started showing the error because they are so common so Chrome tear down I can call it and Firefox tear down I can call it right and simply I'm in Firefox after and I'm in Chrome after now to execute this test case what I'll do I'll simply go to uh, the feature file. I'll copy this login. I'll go to UI Testner or Testner, whatever you have in in your case, and I'll simply run it. Now, what will happen? The four four Chrome, the control will come to this before block, and after scenario, after execution scenario, the control will come to this particular block. So we'll try to understand from there. So you see, the Chrome got launched. It got maximized, and it is able to log in, right? So if you notice, I'm in Chrome before scenario, this got executed. Then I'm in before step, I'm in after step. This is normal sequence which we discussed. And at last, I'm in Chrome after scenario got executed. What if I want to execute only Firefox? So in this case, what I'm expecting, I'm expecting my control to go to Firefox only. I don't want my control to go to Chrome, right? So in this case, what I'll do, I'll simply go here. So I'm running it. Now we will observe the control will go to Firefox and Firefox got launched. It will enter URL login and 
that's it right so if you will observe i am in firefox before scenario similarly before step after step and at last it is i am in firefox after scenario so this is the purpose of tag hooks like and why they are called as tag hooks because we provide the tag in the before hook right along with it we can provide the order as well so for example order equal to zero and uh, likewise if i for example i want to execute one more let us say plain before i want to execute right then what i'll do i'll simply use order equal to when one right uh, but i need to change the method as well right so this is the purpose of uh, tag hooks and uh, this is how we can use before uh, like tag hooks and this is the purpose so in real time what is the application so for example we have smoke test cases and we have regression test cases smoke test cases for example we want to validate in uh, u8 and uh, regression test cases for example we want to validate in uh, uh, staging right so for staging i can use this particular before block i'll provide the staging tag here i'll use the specific url of staging right and i'll do the execution and for u8 i'll use a separate uh, url because we will have separate url so for these kind of applications or for these kind of requirements we can use tag talks and this is the purpose of tag talks so this is it uh, for now thank you for watching in case you have any queries please feel free to comment in the comment section and in case you love my video like my video i request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again for watching